and greetings lights and gear is back with another review and a new battery charger has arrived on the scene this time around uh, the pronunciation here uh, I'm gonna do my best but if you want to look at it and uh, make your own pronunciation Lito Kala I suppose um, is model LII 400 actually it just says mode <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what I assume they mean as model number. But this is a, a new charger, and obviously um, uh, a company which uh, is unknown to me, and perhaps to you as well. Maybe it's new. Uh, again, I would be um, uh, probably hard-pressed to think that it would not be. But anyway, this is the battery charger, which is made by uh, Litokala and it has four bays and I'll show you in a moment that they actually go in reverse for the way most uh, batteries go into a battery charger bay but it's a it's a rather um, inexpensive charger very simplified as opposed to uh, some of the others which we've had recently because it's not a battery analyzer all it does is charge so it won't give you MAH it won't uh, do any discharges or anything like that it's pretty much uh, a good solid basic battery charger and on the top here you have a uh, couple of connections and uh, I'll show you those in a second as per the accessories that arrived in the box so here you have for a car charger and over here the USB for performing other functions outside of the charger itself uh, and you can see that's uh, 5 volts there for the out so it arrived in a very uh, uh, plain box with basically no markings on it but a couple of little stickers so uh, this is the way it came and um, it does have a, a rather large instruction manual written in English but the um, the way it's been translated from Chinese to English is not particularly good uh, so the words are there but uh, making sense out of some of them um, you may have to read it over a few times to understand what they're saying if you know what I mean but anyway um, everything is here as far as uh, information about the charger and what it does um, also in the box is an adapter plug and they did give me a US plug so that's pretty standard and also for the car so hence your two connections there on the top of the unit that is what these are for so you can plug that into the uh, you know into that little plug in the car and away you go that way so let's uh, take a look at the unit itself four bays and it also has four different um, charging currents and that's pretty easy to read right here you can go at either uh, 300 500 or it says here 5,000 uh, 300 500 700 or a thousand and uh, so those are your choices it will uh, charge any type of battery double A triple A 18650 it says here 266500 there are quite a few uh, typos in this uh, in this manual uh, with the uh, Chinese being uh, being translated to English so anyway their translation leaves much to be desired however some of it is uh, pretty straightforward but um, let's uh, and as I was about to as I was about to talk about a few minutes ago if you'll notice here the uh, the positive side of the battery is at the opposite end of where you would find it on the average on most chargers so if you can see that it's uh, basically the other way around so positive goes at the bottom whereas of course all chargers you would assume that the battery goes up in here no no it goes down here so anyway that's that's how you put a battery into the charger which we will do right now and uh, all right give me one second here um, I do have uh, another connector here, not the one that they have supplied, but I have another which is the same. And voila, 
there is the screen, the display, and the default, as you can see, is 500. I mean, this is a, a nice clear display. You can't not see what it's telling you. So this is defaulting to 500 MA. And if you press the button, it won't do anything. What you have to do is hold the button. So pressing and holding it will advance it to the next. So there's 700 and 1,000 and 300. So there you go. So if I take, um, see, I take a large battery like a 26650, and again, it goes in uh, what would, to most chargers, goes in upside down. So there you go. And already, there's your uh, voltage and your little battery indicator, your little indicator there telling you that it's charging. It doesn't, th this, this never changes. In other words, if the battery's low, or even if it's almost at 4 volts, it's always going to show like you would assume the battery is empty. And it's always going to count three, three cells up. It's not going to start at 2 and then show you 1 just because it's almost charged. And as you can see, the display goes out after a few seconds as well. But press it again and there you go. So anyway, 3.88 volts. And again, it doesn't show you what type of battery you're putting in, such as a night core or one of the others that will show you lithium ion versus uh, NIMH. It doesn't show you that. Um, here is a uh, NIMH. So we'll put that in. And um, so there you go, 1.24 volts. So it reads the volts uh, properly. You know, it reads the proper voltage of that particular type of battery and 500 MA is where we're going now actually I think let me see if I can yeah I can actually change that even while it's charging so now I've popped it up to 7 now uh, again it doesn't have the display to show you what it's actually doing so I cannot verify um, over time how many uh, how much current it's actually putting in the battery such as with one of my opus chargers you know you can press the display button and see how much current is actually going in despite what it's actually saying or despite what what you have it set at but this one doesn't give you that information so you kinda you know I guess just you just let it go and not worry about what where it's actually at um, now I can add another one to the mix. Here's an 18650. You can stick that in. There you go there. That one's at 406. It still says 700. Um, I have not been able to uh, figure out from the instructions, like with most chargers, whether one and four charge at the actual current that is noted and maybe two and three have a slightly lower current. Um, I read through the instructions but I haven't uh, I haven't come to that conclusion as to whether whether that's actually the case or not. So again that's kind of like a, a guess. Um, but anyway be that as it may. So this is what the charger does when everything is full the uh, little battery bar will be full and uh, I can't remember yeah it doesn't yeah that's right it doesn't say anything else in the display it doesn't say full what it'll say is for a 3.7 volt lithium battery it'll say 4.21 so it'll give you more or less the nominal voltage when the battery is full it won't give you the actual voltage if the battery ends at 416 it's not going to tell you that it's going to show 4.21 and if you take it off the charger and volt test it it'll be lower than what this unit is saying so this will always say 4.21 for a lithium um, this is the first time I have an NIMH in here so I'm not sure what it might go to one it might go to 1.40 or 1.42 
something of that nature for the NIMH. That's probably what it's going to show as the uh, as the finished as as the finished voltage there. But of course, it will probably be less than that. So, and uh, if I press that button again, it's even going to advance to a thousand. But you know, I have no way of verifying whether it actually is putting a thousand in there. So. This is the charger. This is the Lito Kala charger. It's a very uh, inexpensive, and uh, if you would like a good charger that doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, this may be the one for you. Personally, for me, it's it's okay, but uh, I think I own better. But uh, this one may be just fine for someone looking for one that's not too expensive and would certainly charge. Uh, at a reasonable uh, reasonable rate at uh, you know pretty fast and uh, reasonably accurate I would say as well and uh, so anyway that's the charger there is a link below it was supplied by my friends at Yearbest and you can pick up one from them if you would like and uh, look at other batteries chargers and flashlights and so forth on my website at lightsandgear.com do thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed the video and uh we'll catch you on the other side of the charge bye bye